Yeah, well basically I started out as a, as a support act. I'd actually been supporting a band called The Script at the time and uh, Keith was at one of the shows and he saw me basically supporting them he said, oh, will you, will you support me on my tour? So I started supporting him and then at the time as well I was also working on the side as a production manager for an art gallery. So he needed a new show and he looked for someone to build it and I said, well look, why don't I build it for you? So then I started touring as a support act and his production manager. That continued for quite a few years and then I left <laughs> to do music full time and now I'm back basically for to get them up and running with their new show for about a month and then before I go back to do music again. Brilliant, brilliant, unbelievable. Never seen nothing like it in my life. First time seeing him, heard a lot about him, but unbelievable. Come folks, come. I want Cobsmack. Cobsmack. Oh, it was really, really scary. Yeah. yeah it, was scary. <laughs> it was so good. Just finished up here in the TLT in Drogheda, had an amazing time. Voice is sore, but I gotta get that back and ready for next week's performances. Having a blast on tour, looking forward to the Pendulum Summit this coming Wednesday. Um, well, what can I say about tonight? I have to tell you, probably tonight the audience were, I don't know, more relaxed perhaps than other nights in a good way. In other words, I was laughing with them, they were laughing with me and had a blast. Can't wait to get home, a few hot whiskies before I go to bed and randomly, while I was naked backstage, one of the fans came in. So weird. When the fans come in, sorry, Braid, I can't do anything about security. <laughs>